Hi, welcome to this video in which I will show you how to uh, replace the rear uh, height sensor on Škoda Octavia 3. And why will I be replacing it? Well, there is a problem uh, with uh, my... Uh, I have, the car has Xenon lights and the problem is that it uh, shows that the AFS, Adapter Forward uh, Lighting System or whatever it is called, it does not work. So as you can see, you could hear, hear the beep and here is the error. And uh, if I check under the, uh, let me check under the vehicle status, I think that it is, we can see here that there is an error for cornering lights. Well, also if I check here on my on the display, you can see the same uh, problem. And why do I think that it is the rear uh, height sensor? Well, let me show you with, uh, because I've checked with the diagnostic tool and let me show you how I know this. To check the uh, trouble code, I use uh, VCDS and we need to go to the module 55, which is for the Xenon lights, the control for Xenon lights, so headlight range. And if I go here to the fault codes, I can see rear left right height sensor. So this, uh, this means that it's very high probability that the problem is with the height sensor or uh, to the cable towards it. So I will need to check it. And uh, uh, this happened when I was driving uh, a little bit faster with fully loaded cars. So I ex expect that there was some bump or something like that. It could damage the sensor. Anyway, let's go and let me show you where the location of the sensor is. As you can see, I already have the car up on the lift and the rear left uh, um, wheel removed because as you, you were able to see in the diagnostic uh, uh, trouble code uh, description, it is the sensor is mounted at the rear left uh, side and the sensor is this, if I show you directly. So here is the wheel arch and then if we go inside down and here you can see the sensor. So this is this stick here so this is it has one nut uh, here down below uh, i think it is torx uh, t30 and there are two nuts uh, here uh, one and two so this is the complete uh, sensor assembly as you can see it's this one this one and this one it goes to here so this i need to remove here is the cable i think that goes to the uh, to the sensor and this needs to be removed and then I will check it. As you can see, it is a little bit uh, twisted here. The green part is a little bit twisted. Maybe if I just uh, push it to the straight, it will uh, work, but uh, probably not. So I'll just replace it. To remove the sensor, I will uh, first uh, unscrew this nut here, which is, I think, uh, T30. And uh, the camera is behind towards the rear of the car. So there is uh, an exhaust pipe. And so here is the camera pointed here. So I will just use T30. And probably it will be a little bit hard because it is, oh no, it's easily. Okay, it went easily. So let me just take it out. If it is not, does not go, maybe some VD40 or something, if it is pinned to the, because it was not yet unscrewed. So here this goes, so, and the sensor is out. It's good to remember the location, how it is, um, how it is installed. So this is not like this, but it is like this, pointed here. And yeah, well, let me just see now. Okay, so I will need to push it when I will be installing a new one, so like this okay ah, it's not really moving easily so probably this is why it is broken so this is now um, unscrewed and i will put it here and now i need the t25 so t25 and Probably I will first start with the bottom one because it is a little bit harder to reach and I will not be able to use this tool. So I already prepared a different tool, also T25. So I will go from this uh, from below and towards the unscrew and 
I'll push inside. Okay, this is also easily perfect. So it was not pinned with the rust. With the rust. Anyway, here it is. Also, this screw is almost out. So that's it. This is the second one. And now this one, I will just unscrew with this too because it's easily, I'll push up and yeah, as you can see, the sensor is already moving. So it's already almost free, freed. Okay, yeah, it's okay. So let me just take like this and by hand, yeah. Great, so there was not so much rust as I hope, as I was afraid of. So it was quite easy to unscrew ball or all the nuts that were holding this off. So let me just take also this one off. And yeah, now let's see how this looks like. So as you can see, here is the sensor. And yeah, okay. So let me see this up and down. Yeah, it does not really go easily. Okay, anyway, I'll just buy a new one. So I, I will check the uh, cable. As you can see, it is not damaged. So I would say that the problem is in the sensor itself. So it's not, not worth uh, to change the sensor if the cable is damaged. So to unscrew, to unlock this sensor, you have here these two points probably. Just take it out and let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay no. Ah, you have here, uh, let me just do it like this. And here is, I think that, yeah, you just push this one and take it out. So as you can see, you have here the pin. So this is, if we look at the sensor and the cable, it was like this. So you just push this pin insi inside and you can take it out. And this is it. So the sensor is now free. And I need to remove also this, this uh, uh, plastic here. I will need to pinch it. Just a moment. Let me go for the tool. And I will just use this uh, easily, nicely, just put together, clip together a little bit and take it out. Let it go. Let me just take it again. Yeah, hopefully, I will not break this. Just put like this, okay. Okay, it went a little bit out. Okay, and that's it. It's out. So, as you can see, the sensor is now uh, freed. So, this one, this cable, went from up, as you can see, from up through here. This was then, uh, let me just do it like this. So this was here, no, like this. And this was then installed here down. So like this, no, just check it. Okay, yeah, like this. So this was like this, and this one goes here. So let me, I'm just checking how it was installed so that you see the position. So this plastic was here, the sensor was like this, and this one was uh, like this down here. So this is it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the sensor is free, and now let me check the part number and order a new one. Here is the new sensor, and here is the old sensor. And if I take it out, so this is the part number. This is the part number. It's AIC. This is the only one that was on stock. So I just took, uh, bought this one. A word of advice. So let me just show you. So it is basically the same. As you can see, they are the same. And as you can see, this is moving quite freely. So this is, I really need to use a lot of force so that this moves. Anyway, this is also probably why this part was bent when it was installed, because basically this is, I don't know if rusted or something, but it is not moving freely. So just a word of advice. This is part number, if you look, 
5Q09075503. So if I looked uh, uh, for the sensors according to this part number, I got completely different sensor, which was not, I think it was not compatible. So uh, I needed to, uh, uh, I then um, do, did a little bit more of research and I found this one. And this one, you can find it, it is the part number, factory part number 5Q0. 512521E. Anyway, if you will uh, you you will have this problem, definitely check before buying the sensor, before or ordering the sensor according to the part number or according to the VIN number of the car. Check that uh, it is uh, that you will be ordering the the correct uh, sensor. So let me go now and install this to the car. Rear height sensor installation should be quite straightforward. So here is the cable. So I will just connect it to the to the uh, sensor. So this needs to go here. Let me just find how it goes. It's like this. No. Just a moment. Yeah. Okay. So it's like this. It goes in. So you just click it, and that's it. Anyway, the installation now, this uh, this one, this plastic part goes into this hole, so the, for the cable, so the holder, and this is it. So this is nice now, and this one goes then here. But I will first try to install this one. So this one goes in here, and yeah, it should not be a problem with installing this, because it's now easily, it's really flexible, this is the green part. So I think that... This will be like this, so I need to press it down so that it goes inside and it's directly over the hole. Anyway, this is the Torque 30, the larger screw, that's it. Okay, I will tighten it later. So this is it and now I need to tighten also these two screws. I will just verify again that the connector is tightly connected, it is perfect. And now let's start with these two screws. So this one is the first one, yeah, it easily goes easily up. And the second one, I will tighten them later. Okay, so this is it, this is it, yeah, it's already in. I will just check that the cable is nicely tight. Yes, it is tightened and here there is no, there is no something that could maybe broke it or, and now I just need to tighten these two, these two, um, these three screws. So I'll start with this one and then let's go this one. So that's it. Okay, first maybe by hand. Yeah, it's the blows by hand, so that's it. Okay, so this is almost fixed. And now I will tighten also this one here. So this is torque 30. Anyway, to torque 30, T30, and not torque but T. Okay. Still by hand, yeah, it can be okay. And now I need to tighten it. That's it, that's it, and okay. So this one should be okay, fine. I will just verify that the trouble code is not uh, present also on the diagnostic uh, equipment. So I will go back to the module 55. I already deleted the trouble code and did a quick, a quick drive and there should be no trouble code on the module 55 if you check 55 no fault codes perfect and this was the replacement of the um, uh, rear height sensor for uh, xenon lights on skoda octavia 3 as you could see also on the in the diagnostic i already took a, a little on the diagnostic there is no trouble code i took the car also for a short drive and as you can see there is no a trouble coat about um, there is no warning about AFS lights also here if we take a look let me just show this yeah it's only these two things 
So this is it. Uh, the process is quite straightforward, not very complex. Um, if you have basic tools and knowledge, you, sh you should be do able to do it uh, yourself. Thank you for watching. Drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun. Bye!